Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaban alhamdulillah alladhi anzala muhammadan rahmatan lil alamin balagha al ula bi kamalihi kashafa al duja bi jamalihi hasunat jami'a hisalihi sallu alayhi wa alihi we thank allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the beneficent the merciful Peace and blessings be upon our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam 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 whom his coming to this world was indeed a blessing to the whole universe. And of course we are continuing with our silsila of the seerah of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam definitely the simple understanding. And if you have been following from the first episode until now then definitely you know the journey of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam al bait before uh, being given a uh, prophethood now let's look at his early life and marriage to nana khadija radiyallahu anha the prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam as i told you earlier started doing menial jobs for the people of makka and uh, according to reports of uh, the sahabiyin is that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was a shepherd eh, he was looking for or rather he was taking care of the goats uh, sheep and cows of the people of uh, makkah now if you look at uh, a, sh uh, a shepherd this is one of uh, the things that so many prophets of allah did and uh, it has a significance when you can take care of cattle when you can take care of goats and cows and whatever and make them to be in your command imagine you are taking care of cows and sheep and goats and you are able to make them come into your command then it becomes easy for you to take care of the human beings the creations of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and make them come under your command so that is the simple secret behind so many prophets of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, being shepherds muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam we are told even nabiullah adam alayhi salatu wassalam nabiullah musa alayhi salatu wassalam this was just like a test uh, to ensure that if you can manage to Uh, to make animals come under your control then it will be easy for human beings to listen and follow you that is why prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was one of the best leaders he was one of the best administrators of the creations of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so those were part of his menial jobs and the other one he was he was also a trader at the age of 12 uh before after doing those menial jobs taking care of the cows and goats of the people of uh, makka he got into trade and we talked about his first journey to syria remember when he met bahira the christian monk who told abu talib to go back with the prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam so the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was growing leap by leap bit by bit and he was getting into Uh, he was being he was integrating himself being into this world completely now what does this show even if allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you uh, a responsibility there is also a responsibility upon yourself wala tansa nasibaka min ad-dunya do not forget that you have a responsibility uh, to the world also so the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was working uh, so that uh, he, he could earn something so Uh, due to this trade journey is uh, traveling a lot here and there uh, the prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam at the age of about uh, from about 22 to 25 uh, he started working for one of the most uh, prominent uh, ladies in makkah this is uh, nana khadija radiyallahu anha who was a merchant a woman of great honor a woman who had fortunes she was one of the women billionaires of makkah at that time uh, kana uh, he, she khadija radiyallahu anha kana yastajiru ar-rijal fi maliha she used to employ men uh, to work for her people come get uh, goods from her and then they will go and sell and bring the 
uh, whatever they have earned or the profit to Nana Khadija radiallahu anha. Uh, so she was a merchant. She was a businesswoman. She was one of those women that uh, we say that uh, sharafin wamalin. They were women who had uh, a lot of money and also had a lot of influence at that time in the city of uh, Makkah. Now the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam heard about Nana Khadija radiallahu anha and uh, his uncle Abu Talib uh, told him to go and try his luck, ask, uh, ask for something to do. When she went, when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam of course went to Nana Khadija, uh, there was something about uh, uh, Nana Khadija radiallahu anha that we're going to talk about as we continue with our silsila. So when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam went to ask for a job, definitely uh, he was given a job. And looking at him, not so much uh, experienced in the journey of uh, the people of uh, Mecca, uh, from uh, Mecca to Syria and other places. But because of his honesty and truthfulness, which, uh, of course, Nana Khadija radiallahu anha had, had heard about it, he was employed. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam used to get goods for Nana Khadija to take them to Syria. The returns, oh my God, the returns that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam will bring back to Nana Khadija radiallahu anha was immense. It was more than what other people were bringing to hand. Of course, you know, in business, there are so many dirty tricks and dirty things that people do, right? So you might go do business for somebody and you want to get your cut from that business. You want to, to get something out of it. But the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was not like that. He will go do business, bring back immense returns for Nana Khadija radiallahu anha. And of course, this caught the attention of uh, the greatest uh, woman on earth. Nana Khadija was one of the greatest women on earth, as we're going to look, uh, or rather to see in our continuing uh, series. And at that time, she was a widow. Nana Khadija was a widow and a billionaire. Just imagine a woman with a widow and a billionaire and who employs men in her business. Oh my God, this is uh, something just out of this world. She decided to send one of her maid servants, that was Maisara, to accompany the Prophet ﷺ for assistance. Because as uh, the business progressed and the Prophet ﷺ was gathering a lot of experience from whatever he was doing, so she decided that at least you need to get somebody that will going to help you. Not to go and police you or go and look at what you're doing, but at least to assist in whatever uh, you are doing. So my Sarah was chosen to be the assistant of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wa Sallam. In their journey, Maisara will report tremendous happenings, strange happenings uh, about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wa Sallam in their journey. You see, Maisara was a servant, never knew about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wa Sallam, but amazing uh, uh, explanations about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his honesty, his great behaviors, uh, good interactions with other people. This also uh, impressed Maisara. Now, when they went for the business and they reached uh, Syria, for example, whenever the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would arrive, okay, People who are buying, you see there are people, it's, 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 just like a, it's just like a market, right? So there are people selling here and there. Now, you are buying something from this person, you're buying from the, the other person and the other person. My Sarah says that whenever the Prophet ﷺ will enter the market, lay down uh, his goods, everybody will leave the person that he, he or she was buying to and they will run to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's own. They will make a line. Sometimes they will struggle to get the attention of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Prophet will sell everything within a twinkle of an eye. So this made Nana Khadija radiallahu anha to be impressed to be happy eh, by uh, the Prophet You just imagine, take an example of yourself, right? Somebody is working for you, bringing 
tons and tons of returns, right? And so many accolades, people are talking amazing things about him. What would you have done? You are a widow. You are a billionaire. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is not married, he's single. What will you have done? Always remember to pray for him and ask mercy and blessings from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala by saying Allahumma salli wa sallim ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Until we meet again, Assalamu Alaikum.